Hey, what's up YouTube? Brian Fajoli here. And today I'm looking at a new smartphone and this is not from a company that you may be familiar with as far as smartphones go. This is from a company called Caterpillar, which is typically a company that makes things for workers, right? So like this is designed to be a phone for like workers, for laborers. People that do really dirty and durable um, jobs, you know, like, like rugged jobs and they need a durable phone for it. So this is the Cat S42 smartphone. It's an Android smartphone. Let's take a look here. So we see here, catphones.com. So this is not the only phone that they make, obviously. They've been making phones for a while. Cat, cat, which is short for Caterpillar. And we see here, 2020 Caterpillar, Google and Google Chrome, blah, blah, blah. Made in China. US and Canada only, LTE, and it has a CDMA band, so I guess this would work with Verizon as well. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and open up the box and take a look. Oop. Tore the box a little bit, but I do not need a knife, which is nice. And we have the phone itself. We're gonna put that to the side and see what else comes in the box. So we have a USB type A charger. It says travel charger, but obviously you don't have to use it only while traveling. You can use this in your home as well. This is a standard USB type A AC adapter. And then we have a type A to micro USB, it looks like, which uh, this is becoming less common nowadays as companies tend to move more towards USB type C. So we have a USB type A to micro USB cable, to micro, yeah, so type a USB type A. A to micro USB to uh, cable. Then we have some booklets here. Let's see, this is the limited warranty statement, which is actually pretty long, but there's some different languages in here, which makes it longer. So, wow, look at all those different phone numbers. So this is, the phone numbers that are highlighted in bold will only be supported in English. Hmm. Okay. Wow, okay. Nothing else is in the box. Let's just take a look at this last quick start guide. So there are some different languages here. So it looks like page five, I'll say three. It looks like page seven is another language. I mean, it's really, really short guide. So it looks like there is um, a micro US, micro SD, I'm so sorry micro SD card slot, as well as two SIMs. So I think this is a dual SIM device, which believe it or not, yes, you can see there, SIM one and SIM two, is not very common in the United States. So for whatever reason, it's more popular in places like Europe, um, where people might have multiple SIMs. Um, but this is pretty cool that it does come with two SIM cards. So you can have two phone numbers essentially on your phone. And then there's a bunch of different languages. So let's go ahead and check out the phone. So this is an Android smartphone. It is IP68 and mil-spec 810G rated. It's very rugged. It's designed to be like tossed. I mean, you don't want to beat the hell out of it on purpose, but it is designed to take a beating. So on the side here, what do we have? We have three buttons. So I guess it's a power and volume rocker. So, or volume buttons, I should say. A rocker is when it's connected. So it looks like power and that. And then there's another button here. It might be a Google Assistant button. So we see here it says micro SD and nano SIM, so two nano SIMs. There is a 3.5 millimeter headphone port on the top. Um, it is covered for like dust and debris and water and such. So there's your 3.5 millimeter audio port, which is nicely covered. The corners have this nice rugged uh, rubber on the top, you can see there. So when it hits, it's protected on the bottom, even the micro USB is protected there you go so this is designed for somebody who's working in like dirty environments so let's say you're a construction worker or you're um i don't know a plumber and you're like going under a house and you have to have your phone in your pocket and you're going through a lot of uh, mud and dirt um let's say you're working um from a roof or a roofer and the phone might fall off the roof i mean this this is designed to potentially um keep it more safe it's a rugged phone so let's take this 
off this little, uh, how's this come off here? Yeah, just lifts from the corner. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So I believe this is the power button. This is like, this can probably, I mean, it showed kind of a puzzle piece. I'm guessing this can do Google Assistant or um, you probably map it to something else. What else is on the side here? Oh, so there's a, can this just be? Oh, that's really interesting. So this is the tray. Does that click in? Do you not even need a SIM removal tool? How do you get this out? I'm trying to see the best way to get this little thing out. The manual show that. So it says, so I don't know how you pull that out. So that is like a little tray that will hold the SIM card. Do I have a, I have a little screwdriver here? Do I? I just don't have like long fingernails or anything. Can I press this in? How does it come out? Oh, it just kind of pulls out. So use a little screwdriver, pull this out. So you can see here, micro SD card and two nano SIMs. You put that in and just insert it here. So you don't need a SIM removal tool, easy to access. And then the door gets covered with that little rubber piece. I don't know if the phone is necessarily like waterproof, See, there's another thing on the camera here. I'll have to look into that more. This is just an unboxing, really. Single camera on the back. Uh, there is a flash. We have the cat logo. And it's very um, rugged, and um, there's like a grip on the back. This is all rubberized, all around the side. I'm guessing it's gonna pick up some dust. As you can see here, there's already a little bit of like dust on it. But this is gonna protect the phone a lot. So let's see if I can power this on from the factory. I believe this is the power button. You can see me and my iPhone there. So cat powered by Android. I think this runs Android uh, 10. It's a nice little image there of the cat logo. And Caterpillar is a name, ooh, S42 smartphone. Caterpillar is a name that is like synonymous with quality um, for people that work in uh, trades. Trades people um, will know the Caterpillar name, construction and things like that. And there we go. It's just this typical Android phone. On um, the bottom here, there's like nothing. So you got this big chin here, but there's no, um, as far as I can tell, there's no fingerprint reader, I don't think. So it's likely just a pin. I don't see anything to read a fingerprint. There's no notch. It's just a traditional Android smartphone that's very ruggedized. And I think that's pretty cool. It's got the speaker grill on the bottom. It's just a very industrial, durable Android smartphone. Like I'm, I'm gonna take this out into like my yard and just like, like beat the crap out of it, throw it around and um, to see how much abuse I guess it can take. I'm not gonna hit it with a hammer or anything. I don't wanna destroy it, uh, but I do wanna just test out its rugged, ruggedness and durability. So if you have any questions about this smartphone, you can leave them in the comments. Again, this is strictly an unboxing video. I do apologize if you're expecting anything more than that, but that's really all that it is, an unboxing video. All right, folks, well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you do look, like my videos, please subscribe, and um, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.